Hey everyone and welcome back. This is going to be where I jump into the freaking first stage. And, well, rather, the first stage past the actual intro stage right here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and... If this is like a typical Mega Man game, then the boss's weaknesses are like the other bosses, which when you defeat them, you get their weapons and everything. So I assume it's the same. So I'll just... I don't know who's who, I haven't looked it up or anything, so I'm just gonna go with the Mighty Number no. 1. Mighty Let's see what one, Explain Pyrogen, does. ...has been sighted near this oil refinery. Prevent a large-scale inferno. You are all set, then? Mighty Number no. 1, Pyrogen. A fire boss, obviously. And it's at an oil rig. That's almost too freaking cliche. A fire wielding robot running wild at an oil refinery. I don't like the look of this at all. Maybe that's exactly right. ideal conditions. I'll grant you that. Quickly now back. Locate mighty number one. Oops. They're getting hang of this a little bit. I like the ability to um, dash multiple times. And I do see that they have the same enemies, not completely, as the, um, the old Mega Man games, which is pretty interesting. And it seems to be that they use even the same kind of boss pattern is like a fire boss and a boss that has like underwater I'm sure it's one that takes place like underwater or like a freaking like some underground like freaking bolt or something like that like submarine or something like that like usual and probably one that takes place on like an aircraft carrier or something akin to like part of Mega Man X4 and 5 but I believe it was that they did that and uh, perhaps one, it was a two, I don't really remember. Mega Man 8 also. Oh, I'm actually getting killed. I need to heal. I have no idea what these buffs are. And someone's Warning. angry. Multiple incoming robots detected. What? Where? And it's confirmed. Pyro is coming. Oops. That wasn't uh Oh well. I'll try again. I just skip that this time though. He just gets angry and freaking burns up and he gets the hell out of here, so. That explosion was a little bit too big to dodge. What the hell was going on there? <sighs> Let's try this again.
They probably explain what these buffs do in the actual um, tips that. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's try this again. A fire wielding robot running wild at an oil refinery. I don't like the look of this at all. Not exactly ideal conditions. I'll grant you that. Quickly now, back. Locate mighty number one. Not being able to actually kill the enemies with your blaster is very annoying so far. That's probably my number one problem with the game. Besides that, it's not too bad, really. Very reminiscent of Mega Man. More so Mega Man X probably than the original series, though. Thanks to the dash function, the dash function, though. And things like being able to hang on the ledge is pretty nice of an addition. Lacking the ability to actually charge up your blaster and the ability to actually kill enemies with it go. without having to dash into them. Two very annoying parts downsides, I guess. The buffs are pretty interesting, though I don't know what they do. I Hopefully they're explained in the game somewhere, and if they are, then that's fine. It's definitely not negative, that'll be a plus. If they're not explained at all, however, then that is just idiotic in my opinion. Because anything like that should definitely be explained somewhere. like that where they are like low enough to dash into but they're still moving are a bit annoying so far and I don't see really much ability to heal because the enemies do not appear to drop actual like health at all. There we go. All right. You just find it in the stage like right there. And it wasn't explained at all that that would be a one hit KO. I just figured I'd lose some health if I got hit. So how fake is that? Another thing is the voice of actual call is very like too robotic. I didn't think it would be like that. I mean, at least make her sound human. I mean, hell, like the original Mega Man, Mega Man X series. Well, Mega Man X didn't have a role, but um, it seems almost blatantly obvious that that she's character um modeled after role from the Mega Man series, which was like Mega Man's um, sister basically. And at least then she had a decent voice actor, in my opinion. Oh, that is definitely going to get annoying. That's one like it. I'm so used to making my next, you can just hop back up, you don't have to really worry about falling to death. This seems like half my deaths in the games are all going to be from falls, apparently. This air dash is really quite nice, but you have no way to gain vertical momentum. You can't dash up, 
and you can't dash down or anything, which is, would be cool. And here's another buff where I have no idea what it is, but I have two of them. And of course, this is the boss fight. You, why you not burn? Why you not burn? And he charged up. Burn! I will crash, and you. Hey, wait, Zell. Okay. Okay, uh, so those are two of his attacks so far. I'm sure he has one left. And that's his third attack. So that's probably all of them, or he might have enough. Ah, see. Let's see. I think I'm on. I'm thinking I'm getting the pattern. I might, I might get wrecked real quick though. My health is too low. So I've just realized the pattern now. Yep. I believe the pattern is pretty clear, at least for now. If he has like a, a move that he uses once he gets low, however, I will not know until then. Because now all his moves are pretty pretty evident to me Hyro finally you why you not burn why you not burn uh oh burn. Let's try again. okay so one of these buffs has um increased my damage and made it so that I, um, apparently now shots go through enemies or so. That's what it appears to be. It's an interesting buff to have, an interesting way to take the game. I believe one of these buffs also was a defense buff. Pretty useful. Okay, if I jump over him, he does flat sometimes. And sometimes he does that with me to have to dash underneath him. That explosion is way too close. I don't know how to avoid it. You only dash so far. That's more like it. Pyro. This buff seems to be a damage buff. Oh, I used something that I didn't even know was there. That accidental apparently it healed me. And I really didn't need that yet. I keep thinking he's gonna do his little freaking dash and instead he just keeps going. That, like, when I jump he does that. When I freaking stand still he decides to just go right into me though. Just 
looks more like it. That does a little too much damage. That's it was a fine way. That is trophy. Fine play, mighty one. Just charging up. Mission clear. clear. I'll freaking see. I got wrecked. New form. Reason resurrection priority. Jiminy! Had a boy back. Come on, Will. Show a bit of well, that was the first of the eight mighty numbers Perhaps to be defeated, so... Which one should I do next? This is only the beginning. Call, please transfer Bex's I don't know what, cell data who has a weakness to what, terminal. since this is my first playthrough, and I haven't looked that up, so I, I might just the root of the go straight down the line. Or I can just right do away, um, a guess White. based on the um, elements and what I would assume the weakness is. Sonda, I caught a bit of news on the way here. The president of Cherry Dynamics was insisting the source of the incident is Dr. Blackwell. What? Poppycock! Blackwell is a genius, but he, he couldn't possibly be behind this. You must admit, there are similarities to his last plot to shut down every robot in America. You mean how they both originated at the Battle Coliseum, but... He was caught and arrested. Even Blackwell isn't clever enough to pull this off from inside a maximum security prison. Indeed. I wonder why Mr. Graham seems so certain. Well, enough of that. There's data to sift through. Sonda, can you continue assisting Beck? Absolutely. Uh, let me know as soon as you discover Absolutely. anything. Absolutely. Wow. That won't catch on at all. All right, quit your lolly. New ships have been added. Oh, of course. Ah, New challenge is added. Mm. Not surprised. Go. And if you go back to the accomplishments, I'm guessing that since I got a new trophy, a new accomplishment will have, have completed. Somewhere down the line. Yep. Achieve all fine play technical bonuses in the mighty number one boss battle. Get three absor 100% absorption combos in a row. Get five 100% absorption combos in a row. Nice. Score 10,000 points in total and defeat any mighty number without letting them heal. Cool. And there's still a whole bunch more accomplishments to get. I don't think all of them are trophies, but some of them definitely are. But that is all for now. I'll stop it here and start again. When I go down, probably for mighty number two, I'll just go straight down the order, numerical order. So. As always, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, 
feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on a video if you have any questions about the game, especially since it's new. And hit the like button.